People in Mexico Beach are preparing for Hurricane Helene. News 4's Lily O'Brien is there now. She met with people still in the city as the storm approaches. Lily, what have you learned today? Kinsley, I met with one person who tells me they're still on the fence. They're debating between evacuation and staying here in Mexico Beach to brave the storm. Now, he won't make his final decision until Thursday morning, but he tells me he already knows how dangerous these storms can be. I have no appetite to build another house, so that's for sure. Jim Prantle is a homeowner in Mexico Beach, Florida. He spent two years building his house, and in 2018, Hurricane Michael washed away those years of work, investment, and memories. After he evacuated, his brother sent him a heartbreaking view. And so I'm just watching this Storm Chaser YouTube video, and like all of a sudden, it was just like, you know, you see my house is on the other side of 98, you know, up against the condos and it moved and split in half and is kind of like the first two floors are like the Wizard of Oz, have no idea where they are and then the house just settled. It took another three years to build the house he's at now. So if effectively, I built the same house twice. He's one of the many who made the trip to City Hall to gather sandbags. It's more for wishful thinking, right? So it's like, hey, if the, if the water just barely creeps in, it'll do something. After the last major storm, engineers told him he had a 22 foot surge and 165 miles per hour wind at his house. With a new storm and his new house, he's hoping for a much different outcome. Jim Prandtl says Helene is powerful, but still he's not that worried. He does say that could change if the hurricane shifts course like it did Michael, in which case he'll evacuate if necessary, but until then is planning to stay. In Mexico Beach, Florida, I'm Lily O'Brien, your hometown news leader. Lily O'Brien, thank you for sharing that report.